The American economist Mr. Peter Dubak once said, The ultimate resource of an economic development lies in the people, not in the raw materials nor the capital, but alone in the people. Respected judges and dignitaries, a very warm good morning to each one of you. The topic that I got is whether China is going to overtake the US economy within the few years or after a COVID season, and I would definitely say yes. The growing and decreasing imports, exports, the productivity, GDP, human resources, are these the only factors by which we can say that China is going to overtake US? Definitely not. Both are capitalist nations, but two different kinds of nations. One is a nation that is built of owners, where the other is an other nation built of laborers, workers. US is actually surviving on the bank balance created by its owners, whereas China is trying to make a bank balance out of its people. You as a static or as China is productive and innovative. I hope you've come across a troll where a man buys a mask and sees the tagline made in China. Imagine COVID originates from China, yet you're supposed to buy a mask that comes from China. How contradictory is that? That is how they've spread their market. Let me tell you that the economic development no more actually depends upon superficial ties, diplomatic ties. No, it depends upon the health sector, depends upon the decisions a country make. For example, China made a thousand bedded hospital for its people within 10 days, whereas Trump has not yet even given a lockdown in their country even after 50,000 deaths. China has actually not even seen a test cricket match series in the past decades. Why? Because they have no time to spend in a cricket stadium. We're comparing two different kind of nations. And to those people who are telling me that China cannot surge to the uppermost level because of the anti-communist war, let me tell you, unless and until CIA comes with some dirty trick like proxy war, cold war, etc., America will not stabilize. And I'm a person who strongly believes that China has already been on the path of going to the topmost with or without the COVID season and I believe that COVID has just acted as a catalyst and nothing more.